let's talk about how women grow older and become invisible. To, I'm, not, I'm not even joking. You mean sexually attractive. I think I, I mean, can see where this is going. invisible to men, right? Yeah. So um, before we begin, go and check out my conservative definition of what a woman is, because I think this is all predicated on the very root of womanhood, which is, of course, the ability to conceive and bear children. And as uh, a famous Labour MP put it, once she became infertile, she felt like less of a woman. And I think that's fair. I think as a man... Same with men. Exactly. If, if you couldn't get an erection, you'd definitely feel like less of a man, because that is the kind of essential characteristic of men and women. But also if your thumb don't work. Exactly. Not even that. Yep. Which is why Dank was so quick to point out his... <laughs> 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 uh, I have seen him meaning. Yeah, I know. Um, but uh, anyway, so this, this let's begin with the World Economic Forum. Why do so many older women become invisible? Now, the World Economic Forum... Why, why is this an economic question? Well, that's, the, <laughs> that, that's exactly it, right? This, this was in 2015, they published this. But they, they begin with this. We're an economic group. Yeah. World Economic Forum. Where are the women? Why are they invisible? It's like, sorry, I went here for economics. I'm here to talk about vaccines and sex. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's literally nothing okay. about economics. Uh, where's my economics form. professor? <laughs> but uh, they say, in a world of data-driven policies, there is one group in society that barely registers and is at risk of missing out on crucial resources and services, according to researchers, older women. So it's not really the complaint, right? They say much international data, including metrics on health and employment assets and domestic violence, seems to back up the anecdotal view that women become invisible in middle age. That's not what the the anecdotal view is telling you. But you literally can't understand that there might be something that isn't quantifiable in data that the women are responding to here. What do they mean they're losing out on resources? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, benefits that old women should receive for being old women is what they're saying, maybe. But um, but the point is, that, like the the, acne the anecdotal view is that women become invisible. It's like, that's true. There are lots of women who will say this, and we'll get into them in a second. But they're like, yeah. But so the data, including metrics on health, employment, blah 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 blah. It's like, no 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 no. That's not what they're talking about. But you are so monomaniacal in your view of the world. You're like, well, look at all this data we have on women's employment in yes. their fifties. Hello, like, hello, bug man. Yeah, exactly. Hello, bug man. Right, the bug man running the WEF. That's all they can think about, right? And they they carry on with all this, but you know. It, there's no point going into it because they literally can't understand what is being said by these women when they say they become invisible, right? So let's go to this next one that I found in the Irish Times by a, a lady who's like, women become invisible to men as we age. So what? Then why are you writing this? Great question. I, I always hate this stuff. Like, regardless of the article, I'm just yeah. like, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm like, why are you... No, no, no. no. They, you, you could say, well, they're responding to a conversation that's going on and you can say, well, look, that's just irrelevant. It doesn't matter. You know, and that's why they've had to write this. And that's kind of the frame of no, this, right? No, but it's more like when I see articles that are like, people say I'm ugly. So what? Doesn't matter. Anyway, here's 500 words. <laughs> a press release turned up in my inbox the other morning, loudly gasping that as soon as we reach the age of 50, women become invisible to the opposite sex. The email, which was disseminated by data com commissioned by a herbal remedies company, went on to say that a survey of 2,000 women revealed that once they reach just over 50, women feel that they get ignored by men and don't get the level of attention they had before. Uh, yeah, and what is your problem with that exactly? Well, the problem with that is that much of women's interaction in society is kind of predicated on the idea that men desire them. And once you've had that taken away from you, maybe you long to be desired. Who doesn't want to be desired? Like, who doesn't want to be desired? It's kind of funny. It's like the opposite situation for men. Yeah. Like, when you're very young and no like your teenage age, all, like, yeah. the, the, the women don't care. No. Why would they? You've got nothing. Yeah. You're a nobody. Fantastic news. She, so she's like, look, I would have framed it like this. Fantastic news. A survey has revealed that if you're 50 plus and female, it's all over. At last, it's finished. Never again will you have to endure some fool you've never met before. Assuming that as you're sitting in a bar alone with your book or on a park bench with your thoughts or in a dark cinema with just your favorite shoes for company... I don't know what that means. Uh, you're only waiting what? for him, that prince among men, to finish his pint at Justice Crotch before taking him up on his handsome, unasked for offer to shag him blind. And she's like, well, not all men operate with this, obviously, but, uh, you know, it could have been could have been worse, couldn't it? I haven't, aren't you tired of being harassed by men who find you desirable your whole life? And a lot of her friends are like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have been privy to conversations where women bemoan a perceived lessening of their allure. These days when I'm trying to order, I get ignored by barman, a friend told me recently. We'll go to a different bar then, I replied. 
But the barman there is going to ignore her too. Because she's not a young, attractive woman anymore. Um, but, uh, but what the friend is saying is that there's a kind of privilege that comes by being a young woman. Hang on, which, there's a kind of privilege of being attractive. Yes. but That's in, a universal truth as well. That is true. But for women, there's a kind of privilege that young, attractive women, and just young women generally, fertile women, basically, she's saying, enjoy that they lose when they hit the menopause, which is a kind of subconscious attention that men give them. That's what she's saying. Right. And they're all saying this, in fact. This makes me laugh because I don't know if you remember. I think we did cover an article once where mm -hmm. this woman was like, men stop paying attention to me because she was getting older. Yeah. And then what she discovered is if she wears pigtails and braids her hair, all of a sudden the attention comes back. I don't remember that one offhand. But, it was really uh, funny because she was like, I can't wear uh, pigtails anymore because I'm getting too much attention again. Oh, I <laughs> was like, wow. okay, okay. <laughs> it's good advice for these ladies, right? Uh, so um, the, the, the survey found that basically... Um, a lot of these women felt underconfident, citing graying hair, the need to wear glasses, and a general feeling that their appearance was deteriorating as their reasons for the lack of self-esteem. And she was like, sadly, uh, sadly and maddeningly, it also concluded that some middle-aged women feel intimidated by the presence of more youthful females at social events, with six out of ten respondents believing that the world is geared towards younger women. Why only six? Mm. Sorry, who doesn't feel... Mo most of the older women were like, yeah, the world is geared towards younger women. It's like, oh, This is interesting, isn't it? I, I, how is this a shock? I don't... The world, the world is not geared towards matronly women or grandmothers. What? You weren't complaining about that when you were in your 20s, were you? I just don't get how people don't understand. Like, yes, like being in a room where someone's more attractive than you is... But it's, like you're not less even, attractive person in the room. But not even necessarily more attractive, more more youthful, right? The, the, a woman's power is all contained in her youth, and she loses it as her life goes on, which is something that this should have been taught to young women generally. And now these women are hitting 50. They're like, guys, just this thing I've always had, guys aren't paying attention to me. It's like, yeah, and you should have been prepared for that, and you're not prepared for that. So uh, there, there we go to the. So the first thing is, you know, it doesn't matter, or it's not happening. But then it's. Uh, but then we get to yeah, stage the, one. <laughs> stage one, it doesn't matter. Stage two, it's not true. Right? It's not true. The women are invisible, uh, as, as this uh, article states. This new stupid thing is called the age of invisibility, the age at which women disappear from the male view. At 45, it's the, as decreed by boffins who don't seem aware of just how banging women now look this age. Uh, after 45, men apparently stop seeing us, stop opening doors, stop whistling as we walk past building sites. Yeah. I've heard the visible signs of aging. Smile lines and low tolerance for things that I can't say on YouTube. Uh, and I've got a cream to fix both of those, but an age of invisibility, the sudden death knell of sex appeal... Where in a blink you go from being a babe in polka dots to mad Aunt Dottie has knocked me for six. After all the daft things women are told to maintain, do to maintain allure, all that thigh gapping and hair plucking, who's selling you this? Like, this is coming from oh, other thigh women. Thigh the stupidest thing in the world as well. I know. Uh, we're just going to fade into the background. It's like, well, I don't know if you've got much choice on this. Like, you can't get men to be, like, to respond to a 50 year old woman in the way they respond to a 20 year old woman. You just can't do it. Don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I don't know what the confusion is about. Yeah. This is one of those inevitable parts of life you just have to accept. You can't really deny it. You know it's true. And you can't get away from it. It's I going to happen. I feel like, you know, when people started debating what is a woman and everyone was just like, what? What are you talking about? Mm. As many as 67% of women have claimed they receive less attention from men once they hit 45. And uh, even Christine Brinkley, I don't know who that is, uh, said she felt invisible to men her own age. And if even she feels invisible, then the rest of us must be nearly able to walk through walls. Yeah. I believe all women can be sexy, elegant, have poise and be head turners at any age if they want. Mm. Mm. Sounds like a big cope, doesn't it? Who, who, no one really old wants to be really old. I've never met someone who's like, you know what, I wouldn't go back to being 20 right now. That's, that's, mm. That would be terrible. As in just, like, physically. But this this whole, like, well, look, you're just as beautiful at 60 as you were at 20. It's like, yeah, come on. Come on. No one, no one thinks that. You don't think that. And so when we've got to the point where it's like, okay, look, okay, fine, but it's the men's fault. 
Invisibility really says more about the men whose eyesight is failing. Young women are vulnerable and uncertain <laughs> and possess whoa, 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 whoa. certain politeness whoa. that hasn't learned to deal with the unwanted attention from that guy passing and repassing like a shark desperate for attention. By 45, that woman has become more accomplished with a stare that will shrivel his testicles. Yeah, you sound like a good date. Um, okay. But- but that's not getting you more attention, is it? The men whose eyesight is failing. Yeah. You, you ever heard of that quote? It was like, um, I, th- I think it's Family Guy at one point, where he's like, the, the wonderful thing about college jo- girls is I keep getting older, but they keep staying the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's the same in reverse. It's like the guys yes. on the building site, funnily enough, they stay the same age. Mm. And they stop looking once you hit a certain age. But uh, never again will I have to endure some idiot assuming I've been waiting at a bar for him. Prince Charming to swoop in and ask if I'd like to wear he, he I'd like to wear my ankles behind my ears. Do I do not forget what it is like to have been assessed through a beer glass of de- of desirability. You have become so much more than just sexy. I will not gently go from anyone's sight. So actually, it's a good thing. Now, so we've we've gone through. It's not happening. Now it's where it, it's a good thing. Uh, and then we'll just go for the, the third one just because, again, another perspective on this. We can go to the next one. Men stopped. Uh, sometime in my f- 50s, I became invisible to men. Here's what I didn't expect to feel. Lessons to young women. The authorities say that 50 is the new 40, 60 is the new 50, and 70 is the new 60. That statement should give us faith to continue to embrace our opportunities. I feel that we should continue to explore possibilities, celebrate new discoveries, and try and remove the word decline from our vocabularies. In other words, dear readers of mine, own your age and design your life so you do not feel invisible. Now, hang on, that's good. Design your life so you do not feel invisible. Yeah, I just, it's the thing of, let's delete the word decline from our vocabulary. Mm. It's this, this weird thing, you find it in like the beauty industry, mm-hmm. where it's like, no one's ugly. Like, it's just, just like, what are you doing? Industry. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's this, that's the thing, right? It makes yeah. no sense. Like, I was walking past a billboard the other day, and um, it, the billboard was showing women before and after taking this beauty product, and it made their, their skin look nicer and all their hairs disappear on their, mm. their lip for some reason. Anyway, and it was called uh, Beautiful Before, Beautiful After. Then why do I need your product? Yeah. What possible use is your product to me if I'm amazing already? But it's just this weird culture that these ah, circles have. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's what it is, it's sort of affirmation culture, right? Yeah. Where they can't bring themselves to admit that actually that's not good. No. Self improvement general is not a subject. But really, there's not that much you can do to self improve at this point. You know, you're, if, you, if your entire position in the world has been based on the fact that you're youthful, fertile, and attractive, and then. Suddenly, don't worry, you don't want to get to that in a sec. And then suddenly, that it inevitably declines because you get older. Well, it's not about you've not necessarily done anything wrong, it's just that's the inevitability of living, which is why young women should be encouraged to secure themselves a family. Because I tell you, who's not invisible, right? My mum is currently visiting, she's 65, I think. She's not invisible, she's constantly got my kids. all over her, just like, you know, nanny, can we do this? Nanny, can we do that? Nanny, can we do the other? And then me and my wife going. Mum, do you mind changing him? Or do you mind taking them out? Or do you mind spending some time? You know, like, they're not invisible. They've just... she. My mum has moved into the appropriate role for a woman in her 50s. She's not like, oh, men aren't giving me the eye. You know, she doesn't have to think that way. Why am I not having strikes with, with random strangers? Well, obviously she marries. That's not yeah, she, I mean, that's, like, but that's the point. <laughs> but but the, exactly. She, the, she, like, most older women should have moved into this position where, look, actually now you're the sort of matron of the family and you've got grandkids to worry about, you know? Did you... A lot of these don't. I was reading the uh, the bonuses the Hungarian government gives to id population to yeah, encourage yeah. families. Yeah. and the Tax best, breaks, aren't they? Screw the tax breaks. Oh, really? Like, the most interesting policy they have is that if you're a woman and you've worked for 40 years doing whatever if you add it all up your various jobs and it goes to 40 years you can retire now oh really so if you start work at say 16 mm-hmm. and then uh what is it like uh 46 i oh, know 56, 56 yeah. you want to retire go ahead because the point is you're then there for the kids yeah, yeah, yeah. like you can spend yeah. time with your grandkids it's a good idea actually but uh but anyway she says you know design your life so you do not feel invisible it's like okay that's good Good advice, and that should begin in your youth, where you think, right, how am I going to get a husband? How are we going to have kids? How are we going to end up having grandkids, right? That's what I would consider the, the the way to design your life so you don't feel invisible. It's not where she goes with it. Unfortunately, as we age, many of us have not figured out a solution to what can become a serious problem. How do we continue to feel visible after a certain age? Because the truth, dear readers of mine, is that 50 is 50, 60 is 60, and 70 is 70. It's like, yeah, this is all a lie. We were lying to ourselves. We're not going to remain sexy and interesting to men in our 50s. You know, there is actually a TikTok trend recently. I probably should have sent to you. Really? Which is the 
you, it's like girls who are 18 or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And then they, the TikTok trend is like, they have their mum walk out dressed as she is, mm -hmm. and then they dress their mum, and then the mum walks out. Mm -hmm. Not going to lie, some of the mums. Sure, but some of the mums are like, you know, late 30s, right? Early some of them, are, some of them are older. It's just like, huh, the weird look works. Hmm. Most, most, some of them really don't, obviously. Right. Like, I'm but, not uh, denying the reality. But anyway, she says, I have girlfriends who continue to excel to the heights. A past mayor and judge, a woman who runs a women's group on current events, grandmothers and wives and mums who dote on their families. Right, there we go. That's something good. Uh, friends who take courses in language, help the sick and the poor with their dedicated time and own businesses. And yet I hear several of my accomplished friends tell me I feel invisible. Right, that's interesting, isn't it? My accomplished friends, not the grandmothers. The accomplished friends, not the grandmothers. Um, the, the, she says, uh, listen to their views. I thought to myself, the only connection to the word invisible in my head is Casper the Friendly Ghost. So, right, okay. Uh, there are several explanations why women begin to feel invisible as they age over 50. Their children have left the nest and they have families of their own. Retirement ages approach and they no, long, no longer feel relevant. Well, if they have families of their own, like, go near them. Like, move closer. Like, you, you honestly, having, a, having your parents around when you have kids is so useful. Go and spend time with granddad. I just want five minutes of you not destroying the house. Um, and then there's the universal blind, the blinding universal reason. Uh, women feel invisible because they are aging. They no longer look young. They realize they no longer notice as they walk down the street or enter a restaurant where beautiful young maidens strut their stuff. They realize they are alone in a fitting room. Uh, and the mirror can't hide the change in their bodies. Aging is hard if you allow it to be. Well, there we go. That, and that's really the concrete thing. So like, look, you... There is a kind of universal privilege that younger women have that you will lose. Nature is a cruel and unforgiving mistress. So she's like, well, made me ask myself, what's next? What is next? There's only one thing. The continuous pursuit of inner happiness. In, oh, sorry. Inner happiness? Yeah. Okay. I got all this inner happiness from the way people responded to me. How do I get into happiness now? Uh, but she says, look, you have at least got time at this point. Uh, this, she's like, you know, don't, don't be afraid. Um, but uh, go and do things you like, which is like, okay, that's fair advice. Um, but she says, if you do this, you will walk down every street knowing that you are beautiful because you are proud of whom you are. You will recognize the older body is different and you will be glad it is healthy. You'll walk into a restaurant like you own it and thank God you have the opportunity to live your next several years as a relevant woman. <coughs> but you can't get that attention back. You can at least be secure and happy in yourself. But the point that I'm trying to make is that this is true. You will get older. Men will become less interested in you. And you will feel like you've left, you've lost something, had something taken away from you. And there's nothing you can do about it. So plan now. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as the premium videos we do, this one on the politics of Maholland Drive. If you'd like to find out what else we're putting out, you can follow us on Getter at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.